Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is set to give a speech to the U.S. Congress next week is reportedly taking some cues from his grandfather, who gave a similar speech to the U.S. House when he was Japan's Prime Minister in the late 1950s. International pressure is mounting on Abe to offer a sincere apology for his country's actions during World War II, but if his grandfather's speech was anything to go by, the world shouldn't hold its breath. Park ji -won has more. With only a matter of days remaining before Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe addresses a joint session of U.S. Congress next Wednesday, the Japanese leader is reportedly putting the finishing touches to his message by referencing former Prime Minister Nobusuke Kishu's speech to the House in 1957. The Japanese daily Yomi Uru Shimbun reported Saturday that Abe is making final adjustments to his speech by listening to an audio file of the speech given by the former prime minister, who was also Abe's grandfather and who was once accused by the United States of being a Class A war criminal. During his speech to U.S. Congress, Kishi thanked the U.S. for helping Japan to rebuild in the years after the war and expressed support for Washington's anti-communist stance. He also vowed to boost Japan-U.S. relations by rejecting communism, but notably, Kishi made no apology for Japan's actions during World War II. Considering that Kishi is Abe's political mentor, media outlets expect Abe to stress the importance of strengthening the Japan-U.S. alliance and tout Tokyo's role in supporting Washington's current concerns, such as the fight against terrorism and the containment of China. This comes as a recent report by the U.S. Congressional Research Service pointed out that the world will be closely watching what Abe's perspectives on history are. Japan's public broadcaster NHK says the report explains how Abe has stirred regional tensions over historical issues and notes that it puts more pressure on him to include a message of historic reconciliation in his speech. U.S. Congressman Mike Honda has also urged the Japanese leader to accept Japan's responsibility for wartime sexual enslavement if he wants Japan to be a true leader in the democratic world. In an interview with Japanese dailies Hankei Shimbun, Honda, an eight-term lawmaker of Japanese descent, said it was high time for Abe to show genuine remorse and apologize. Honda was one of 25 U.S. House members who issued a joint letter this week urging Abe to reaffirm the Japanese government's past apologies for the sake of reconciliation with its neighbors. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.